Sagittarius. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your love reading today. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. A few things before we get started. Uh, one, I just want to say that you can follow me on Instagram now um, for daily messages, additional daily messages. So my Instagram account is below in the description box. If you want to check that out, it is angel underscore love underscore 333. So check that out if you like, Sag. Let's get started with your reading. Um, also want to say I do give away free personal readings each month. To enter, you just need to subscribe and like the video. Um, and also, lastly, there will be an extended reading link below if you'd like to check that out, okay? So let's see what your person's energy is. Okay. Let's get the mutual energy. Okay, Sag. <laughs> I feel like you're feeling a stuck here. Stuck here in a situation. I don't know why this always comes up. This always comes up in your readings. Like you're really overthinking something here. You're feeling stuck, okay? But what I want to say here is we'll go through this, okay? I feel you could be dealing with multiple energies or maybe it could be more than one person in your situation, but I see some consistency overall. But Let's go through this, okay? Your energy, you have the Five of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and you have the Death card. I feel it was some sort of ending, okay? I feel that you walked away from a situation maybe, um, you know, where there was a lot of conflict, okay? Or you, you weren't satisfied about it emotionally. And I feel definitely shows an ending. You have a definitely strong Scorpio energy here. You have Cancer and Pisces as well. You also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now, in your person's energy, you do have the Justice, you have the High Priestess, and you have the Seven of Swords. So, I'm just going to say in your person's energy, it's very interesting. I feel like your person may feel uh, betrayed a little bit for some reason, okay? Or they may even feel that you've been secretive with them. But this also can be this person here, you know, wants to do the right thing. Okay? So they may be strategizing, they may be planning here. You could be dealing with the Libra, if I didn't say that already, a Cancer or a Pisces. We'll see where this goes. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Four of Pentacles and you have the Hangman. So I sense here that you may be dealing with somebody who's pulled back their energy here, but it doesn't mean... I feel like this person is still attached, okay? This person is still attached. They may even be realizing here, okay, how much they're still connected or attached to you. But let's clarify the cards um, and we'll see where this goes, okay? Because I'm picking up like a lot of different energies with you here, Sag. In your recent past, you do have the Page of Pentacles, okay? So it feels like there may have been some messaging here between you and someone. Uh, you have the Page of Cups in your current energy, okay? So this is where I see you got two pages here. So there could be somebody here from your past that you walked away from, and there could be somebody here new. We're going to clarify the energies. We'll see what this is, all right? In the foundation, you do have the um, five of wands, okay? So it shows me some sort of struggle here. This can be your internal struggle, struggle because I do see an energy here of feeling stuck. There can be, uh, you know, multiple people here wanting your attention. I'm just going to say here, I feel potentially there is somebody here that you walked away from. Um, and... I feel there's potentially possibly somebody new here. We're going to clarify. This has been coming up a lot in your readings. 
Now, in the outcome position, you have the Eight of Swords, an energy here of feeling stuck. We're going to see what that's all about. In your near future position, you do have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is where I see uh, some consistency coming up in the near future. Okay, could be good news as well because I do see here possibly messages here of good news. But let's clarify uh, some of these cards here. clarify the death card because you know it can there's new beginnings after the death card so it can be you're walking away from another situation um you know that you had conflict in and now you're starting a new beginning let's see where this is going king of cups ace of cups three of cups the emperor Bottom of the deck here, seven of pentacles. Okay, let's see what you've got here. King of cups, ace of cups, three of cups. So I see a new beginning here, but I also here see Sagittarius, you're trying to control your feelings and your emotions within a situation. You could be dealing with an Aries, definitely strong uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. So I feel like you're trying to decide now where to put your time and energy, right? That's going to be the most happy for you, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. I feel you're walking away from anything that causes conflict here in your life. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands, okay? So I do see you wanting to invest in a relationship, okay? I do see you wanting a emotionally fulfilling relationship here, something that is happy, Okay, I also feel like you try to control your feelings and emotions a little bit there, but um, maybe you hold back emotionally, I'm getting. But let's see why this Page of Pentacles is here, please. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, please? You have the Four of Swords, the Seven of Wands, Three of Wands and bottom of the deck here, you have the High Priestess again. Could be dealing with a Cancerian um, or Pisces here. I feel there's somebody here from your past um, that definitely shows me there was some sort of separation or some sort of distance here. Okay. I feel like you may have received a message from this person if you haven't. I feel that you will. We'll see if this is that page of cups here. But you have the seven of wands and you have the three of wands. So I feel like this is somebody here who, who is still wanting to fight for this connection or this relationship here. Somebody here, I feel here too, um, with this three of wands. I feel like they... They see a future with you, okay? You may be dealing with somebody, too, who is very, very intuitive. And look at that. High Priestess with the Eight of Wands. A lot of fire energy here. Your energy, Aries, Leo, and uh, Sag. But I sense that this is somebody here. They may feel a very spiritual connection to you. I feel like this person here is wanting to fight for this connection or relationship. So like I said... You may have received a message from this person, or you're going to. I also want to say roles can be reversed, okay? So if it resonates better the other way, then take it how it resonates with you, especially if you're a cross-watcher. Let's see why the Page of Cups is here. Why is the Page of Cups here, please? You have the Wheel. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And you have the Six of Pentacles. And again, bottom of the deck here, you have the High Priestess. Okay. So I feel more than one scenario. So some of you, Sag, you may have been, you know, walked away from a past situation here. Okay. This can be this person I see. For some of you, this could be the same person. Okay. If you're walking away from a situation that you don't want to be in, I feel there's a new person here coming in for you. If not, if you're wanting to reconcile with someone, I feel there's definitely an energy here of somebody reaching out, okay? Somebody reaching out here could even be an apology or just 
them reaching out, very, very kind and sensitive, right to your feelings. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Pentacles, and you have the Six of Pentacles. So it feels like if you're wanting to reconcile, this is fate here, things turning in your favor. I see some sort of offer here. I see an energy of somebody wanting to put in the time and the investment here into this connection. Now, I feel potentially sad you could still be kind of indecisive here of what you want to do, okay? Even though I feel like you may have walked away from something that felt unsatisfying, could have been somebody else who walked away, but I feel potentially there could be two energies here, someone from the past and a new person, and I, I felt that, that it keeps coming up in your readings here, all right? Now, for some of you, you know, this could be some time to really focus on your money and your career. I do see money and career good here for you as well. Let's see why this uh, Five of Wands is here. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Five of Wands here, please? Why is the Five of Wands here, please? You have the Temperance card. You have the Magician. The Five of Swords. The Four of Cups. I'm going to pull another card. Wow, the Five of Cups. Something disappointed you here, Sag. Definitely the Lovers. Hmm? Gemini Energy and the Page of Swords. Okay. <sighs> okay, Sag. Let's see what we got here. We have the Magician and the Temperance card here. Okay. I feel you're trying to heal from a situation that you are struggling with, basically is what I'm getting here. I feel like you're trying to manifest a new beginning for yourself here. I feel like for some of you, um, there is somebody here that you may have felt betrayed, somebody who disappointed you, maybe somebody here who rejected you, or maybe you're feeling like you, you're you missing an opportunity with someone here. I see a very strong uh, connection here with the lover's card, okay? I definitely get this as somebody, uh, I feel somebody here from your past. I'm not feeling like this is the new energy, okay? I feel here too with this five of swords, all right? You got the, the I'm mean, sorry, the page of swords and you have the unknown card here. So this person may definitely be spying on you, okay? Definitely spying on you is what I'm getting here. You may already know that, um, but let's see. We're going to see what this stuck energy is that's in your outcome position. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? I feel for some of you, it could be you holding back, okay, emotionally. I'm picking up that energy, but let's see here. You have the Nine of Swords, the Tower the moon card. Yeah, I just feel like you have lack of clarity. The hangman. Oh my gosh. Sad. The knight of wands and the ace of wands. Okay. And the knight of cups. Okay. So sad. You have the knight of swords, the tower, the moon card, and the hangman. I feel like you're feeling stuck. Okay. I feel there's a situation here that's going to happen and um, it could be you feeling stuck because something happened that you weren't expecting, something out of the blue. Now, it could have been the ending of this relationship. It could have been something else here in your life, but it feels like an energy that it's made you feel stuck for some reason. I see you having sleepless nights, okay? Maybe even having some bad dreams. I'm getting here with the hangman. By feeling like you, I'm, I'm just going to say, I feel like you don't have control of the situation. But what I want to say is you're going to come out of that because you do have the, the Knight of Wands and you have the Ace of Wands. So I do feel something is going to give in the situation. The Tower is my Something's Got to Give card. Something's going to happen, all right? You do have uh, the Knight of Cups here. Okay, so I do see a new opportunity coming towards you. 
right? But I also see the possibility here of this person returning. But it feels like an energy you're just stuck here. You don't know what to do, all right? Um, but I feel, you know, like I said, I feel like you're going to come out of this, okay? I feel like you're going to feel passionate again. Um, it may be that you just start doing something you're more passionate about. Maybe your work here, okay? But let's see why this Knight of Pentacles, this is your future energy. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here, please? You have the Four of Wands. You have the Two of Cups. And the Death card, Strong Scorpio Energy. Oh, look at that. And the Hierophant. Some of you are dealing with a Twin Flame here. I'm going to say... I see a transformation and I see there's a potential to revive this uh, relationship here from the past if you want it, but I also see here a new opportunity here for you, depending on which direction you want to go in, okay? You got the Hierophant here, Strong Taurus. You also have here the Empress, okay? Shows me here there's a lot of potential for growth uh, in a connection relationship. You also have here the Queen of Wands, okay? A lot of passion there. All right, let's look at your person's energy, okay? It feels like a situation... I feel like you're dealing with somebody here who could want um, before I say anything, let's clarify the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here, please? Cherry. Okay. Strong Cancerian energy and you have the ten of cups. So this is actually somebody who's strategizing how to work things out, okay? Um, I definitely see they want to come towards you. They want success here in the situation. They're doing a lot of thinking here with the Hermit, Strong Virgo energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is somebody I do feel they would like to work things out uh, with you. So this is somebody I feel like they're kind of planning, they're strategizing their next move here. Um, I feel like they're getting ready to come towards you. You have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck and you have the Nine of Cups, okay? So they do see you as somebody they want to be with, someone they could be happy with. Let's clarify the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? You have the Five of Wands. You have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. The Eight of Wands, okay, and bottom of the deck here you have the Six of Swords. So this person I feel is having a hard time letting go of the past. I'm just going to say that with the Justice card here. So whatever happened, you know, Five of Swords uh, showed up in your energy as well over here. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who is having a hard time letting go of the past. Whatever happened between the two of you. I do see the Five of Wands and the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So if your person's been holding back, I feel there could have been some sort of drama or other people involved in the situation here. And I feel that your person is having a hard time getting past this. Now you do have the Eight of Wands. So this person is a bit indecisive about communication. Um, like I said, they do think about and strategize how to make things work here in the situation. But I do feel there's something here where your person may have felt that, that they weren't treated right for some reason. Okay. Now, um, it can be your person also making things right in the situation if they were the one here where there was some sort of drama or maybe there were other people involved in the situation um, but I see ultimately this person wants to communicate um, so this person I feel here is trying to listen to their intuition but right now I feel it's a little blocked that's why we have the stuck energy from what I am getting there so Sag, I'm going to take this to the extended we're going to look deeper at your person what they're thinking they're feeling their upcoming actions 
their intentions, love messages, and guidance. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. I'm sending you angel love.